TKC uh, runs are cool. And then I watched with my friend, uh, like, a bunch of different Zelda runs, um, like Ocarina of Time, and... Uh, Fuck that game. <laughs> Yeah, well, we can, we can talk later, but <laughs> yeah. now, it's, now it's Grand Finals. Yeah, now we have a video game going on. A different video game. So, early start from, uh, from Beer Man. Accidentally gets the turnaround laser, but, <laughs> but he it was doesn't sick. care. <laughs> but he totally meant to do that, and now it's yeah. some little shine, flashy, flashy tech action. All right, now, this is super important, because Beer Man is just going to be ridiculously aggressive, and... Uh, and Take Sheik's, advantage of the yeah, stock Sheik's defense, offense, uh, defense options are not very good, which means that she needs to make the absolute most out of every single knockdown. And find find the openings, which yeah. is hard against a player who moves really fast, like yeah, Beerman, and I mean, throws out a lot of moves. I, it's, I think it's going to be uh, more possible. Like It's going to happen inevitably against Beerman just because he's so aggressive. Mm -hmm. Um, but the thing is just that you need to make sure that all of your tech chases are really, really clean because you're not going to get that many chances. Also, you got to make sure you don't do that. Yeah. Or that. As in, like, like when you have somebody shining on top of you. I mean, I guess... Well, Nair out of shield. Yeah, of shield. Instant Nair out of shield, which apparently okay. Shroomed didn't know you can do until Wait, what? last year. Uh, that's a bummer. Yeah, uh, he didn't realize that you could instant narrow shield, but anyway, uh, I mean, Sheik's shield is obviously really good and everything, but few things do compete with Shine. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, Falco's Shine has a smaller hitbox, obviously, than Fox's, so... Right, and just, like, I don't know, like, I, I feel like, like, Jason is not going to get much done as long as Beer Man is just on top of him. Right, and that's what we've been seeing so far. Misses right. the down okay. air. Sorry, uh, by defensive options, I, I specifically meant anti, like uh, counter pressure options. So things like the seven frame Nair was the uh, is probably the only one of right, those that's, that's a counter pressure. Right. Yeah. Option. Because obviously her her wall is absurd. Yeah. Yes. Again, zoning, <laughs> cheek zoning, really good. That's not that was never the thing that I was trying to contest. Um, and it, it, she's really good at holding the range, but I'm not sure that I have. A huge amount of faith in Jason specifically to be able to do that against Beerman, just because of how aggressive Beerman is and how experienced he is at like all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so once Beerman gets in, uh, Jason doesn't have a huge amount, a huge number of options, which means that I think that he needs to uh, he needs to like really, really make the most out of every single one of his neutral wins that he gets. Whenever he gets a random F tilt in neutral, he needs to be able to convert that into lots of re knockdowns rather than just a knockdown into, like, a 20% up smash or something. Yeah, and he shouldn't be, like, for example, what we just saw, getting shined out of F-Tilt. It's, yeah. uh, it's just not making the most of his opportunities there. All right, so knockdown. There we go. There we go, and then yes. a stock. Yes, yeah. that's the kind of stuff he needs. Um, but, like, and every single one of those he drops is basically just going to be another, like, guaranteed 30% for, yeah, at least. for Beer Man, just because he's going to get pressure again. Not getting hit by the lasers. Yeah. If only. Yeah, just ate a random back air, though. All right, there we go. What can he do with it? Interesting, goes for the Ooh, back air. He falls He's, back down. That's, that's a decision that I really don't like. Not because it's bad, but because it indicates that Jason does not feel confident in his knockdown game right now. Right? He, he goes he for wanted, the instant Right, he wanted option. the gimmick. Right. Uh, he just wanted to take a single 50-50 that could go really well or really poorly. Um, and I, I Instead I, of covering... Options more confident. Yeah, like I, I think that just down, down throw, and again, like he's just throwing off stage and like kind of saying, I don't know what you're going to do, uh, and yeah. I want to cover one of the options with, you know, kind of a gimpy sort I of just, approach. And like his tech chasing has been really good. I want him to just down throw and do some of that. Like, just he has a lead here, but it's it's a tenuous one. Right, yeah, That's stick to what Sheik is oh, good okay. at. Okay, so DI's in, which is good. Those needles from the ledge. Uh, Tried it twice this game now. Yeah, because every single opportunity that he like forward throws at the ledge or something, that's like. So there, there we go. go. That's a much yeah. better option. No, and then he doesn't finish it. And so now this is like another guaranteed thirty or forty percent because Beer Man's gonna go in. He's gonna get a bunch of hits, and now he's gonna have to win neutral again. Good DI from Jason, but still, I mean, that forward air is able to get him out of the first combo, but it's not able to do anything else. It's just so much damage. Like, every time they have to play neutral, Beer Man gets a ton I of mean, damage. I mean, it's a stock turnaround, essentially. Yeah. And there's Down the air. Ooh, oh, okay. Was, so he almost gets the SDI. Yeah, and it was really good. It yeah. was just not quite enough. All right, make the most. Silky. Good. And this 
Oh, okay, good DI yeah, from Yeah, it was really good combo DI. <laughs> I don't know why he went for that jab after yeah. that down air. <laughs> it's funny because like it looked like Beer Man was like planning like a hax punish. He's like, I'm gonna down air, down air. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then instead, it didn't work. So it's like I'm just gonna hit a bunch of buttons. And it's fine. It's kind of like a bruiser, yeah. and sloppy drunk guy. But but it's Falco's buttons, so like, there's not a huge amount he can do. That was really really good. That drop through. Yeah, the platform yeah. dash uh, forward air. Oh yes, yeah, so and we're at the four beer man. The four beers in. All right, let's see uh, the option still. here. Okay, good angle from Beer Man. Yeah. And, uh, kind of a no. ballsy jump. I really just want him to go for these. Down. Okay, that was I was really scared. Yeah, you're the last like, talk. He freaking, you're Falco, <laughs> man. You can <could> miss. <laughs> you can fall so fast. Um, yeah, I want Jason. I think Jason is playing really well. I think yeah. that Jason is doing a really good job of winning neutral situations when he can. I think he just needs to go for down throws, right? Go for tech chases, do the stuff that he's practiced a trillion times. Because he's room. gotten a lot out of the down throws so yeah. far. Every this time, tournament, not just this set. Either. Right, every time, even against Beer Man, that he goes for tech chase setups, he get. Oh no, doesn't get the smash yeah, yet at the time. Every time he that. goes for these tech chase setups, he gets a ton of damage. But he's just not trusting it, so instead he's going for these gimmick leg, uh, gimp stuff, and he's not getting anything off of it. Nice, yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah that was. That, all, that SDI is actually also way harder than it looks because you can't SDI straight through. You have to SDI oh, yeah. over him. Is that true? Yeah. Really? Over I the mean, hitboxes well, you, of the yeah. feet? Well, no, 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 not over the hitboxes, over the actual body. Really? Because if you try to SDI just oh, you'll into push him, him, right, you'll just you'll push him and then you just have to eat more hits and then you're on, you're still at the edge. And he's just keep, he just keeps kicking. Right, yeah, so you have to SDI over him to actually get to the punish. So I'm wondering why not a down smash there from Beer Man, but <laughs> really good short, good short. yeah. yeah. Super hard to cover as she. No, stop going for these back throws. You're not getting anything off of them. It's a nice sweet spot. That though. one would have actually been hard. Uh, and now he's going right, to lose the stock because yeah, of it. Yeah, that's the turnaround. The problem with down throwing at the edge here is because uh, is the, the weird platform heights. But it's still better to deal with the tech chase on the weird platform height than it is to get nothing off Especially of the Especially because Jason's throw. platform tech chases are pretty good. Yeah, the, the weird height makes it a little bit awkward. It makes it harder to bread and butter it yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes they can hit it a little bit faster and you don't have time to set up. But so he reads, reads a tech in place there, doesn't get it, and then that's yeah. quick two-stock lead here. Yeah, when the platform is at that height, he can just keep short hopping and never land on the platform but always attack it. It's really good. Beerman pressing buttons really fast here. Uh, he's able to get that second Phantasm out quicker than Jason can cover. Even though Jason did yeah, know it was coming. I really I really like how Jason is playing this neutral. Just like very, very safe forward to... Oh. And that's the set. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was spacing well.